then he realized that this man cannot exist alone. He must have uh, someone to, to assist. And that's where, that, 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 that was the woman, right? Now, if I take that analogy of who was first created and for what purpose, and the other woman, the other creature is to assist. Will you believe or agree with me that women activists are the cause of our mice misery today in the household? <laughs> Will you agree with that? Because we have brought this 50-50, we are all equal, and there is no respect in our household. Mm. Will you agree with me? And <laughs> Shut It All Down was a wave of anti-sexual and gender-based violence protests in Namibia aimed at preventing the spread and continuation of physical and sexual violence against women in response to Kawandenge's remarks in Parliament citing women advocating for equal rights as the source of misery for men in their homes, Ntengwe, who organized the nationwide protests, questioned how the SG of an opposition party led by a female president, Esther Munyangwe, could make such disparaging remarks. I think it's, it's really, it comes back to really a reflection on who do we vote for, how, how do you vote and I think it's critical to ask these questions now because we are almost two years from our national elections and there's a lot of movements that's you know, currently going on in parliament with people that are changing seats, people that are changing positions and to have someone as a secretary general of a opposition party whose president is female say all of those claims Make, it really should beg us the question on, on who we are voting for and what then would the next steps be, especially within the party itself. And I think that this individual must really be called to order, despite the many interventions that civil society has had over the years with parliamentarians on sensitization around SGPV, particularly because we also know that this combating of a domestic violence amendment bill comes as a clarion call from especially even with the shut it all down movements that really propelled members of parliament to look into policies and legislation that can again um, find ways to combat you know this and mitigate this scourge of, of, of sexual and gender based violence so i think that um, it, it just comes back to the party itself and what they're going to do regarding a member of parliament that represents their party you know, with all of these comments and what the way forward would then be, especially because it is a female-led party as well. The Combating Domestic Violence Amendment Bill, according to Ntengwe, is a progressive legislative development, but it excludes the LGBTQI community's equal rights, which she believes the government will have to amend at some point in the future. And what I found is with the combating of domestic violence bill is that it's very, very progressive, you know, particularly now in the time that it speaks to especially how they are going to start ensuring that there are protective measures for, for women and for survivors and for victims of, of, of SGPV and domestic violence, um, particularly also within the Combating of Rape Act. But again, you know, excluding something, excluding identities from something that is so progressive currently, again, is, is almost, you know, like you take 10 steps in front and then 20 at behind, you know, because 10 years from now, it will be the LGBTQ community that will be protesting to be included once more. And this is a bill that has already been circulated before the amendments from, from, from this year. Uh, democracy must be at the heart of, of debating the domestic violence amendment bill without, um, you know, um, overlooking the fact that equality has to prevail at the end. Following the wave of anti-SGBV protests in October 2020, Namibia's president, Hagi Gengop, met with the leaders at the State House and reminded them of the importance of free expression in a democracy. Ntengwe urged the legislature to strengthen its collaboration with civil society organizations active in advocating against Namibia's high rates of SGBV.